6, vaping is out of control at school districts across the country. Now the FDA is cracking down on the sale of e-cigarettes to minors. And the Carmel Clay School District is taking matters into its own hands. News 8's Katie Wisely joins us now to explain. Good evening, you guys. It's known as dueling. Just last week, the FDA said Walgreens sold more tobacco products to those under 18 than any other pharmacy chain in the country. And Carmel Clay Schools says they're wanting to educate parents to help spread awareness. It's very easily concealable in a, in a hand. It's small and easy to hide. This top of it then contains the content, and this is a replaceable uh, pod. But its function, quite powerful. We're seeing um, uh, one or two maybe in a week's time. This is what a jewel looks like. The liquid pod has a high level of nicotine, which is purchased separately from the device itself. And it's a lot stronger than a normal cigarette. Carmel Clay School's resource officer, DJ Chef, says one pod would be equivalent to about 20 cigarettes. It's pretty widespread because of the cost is not really that high. Chef says not only can the liquid be flavored tobacco, but could also contain THC. Anytime we have a youth that makes a poor decision, there is an element of surprise to that. If resource officers are suspicious that THC may be in a device, it is entered into evidence and then sent to the Indiana State Police Lab to test the content. It seems like it is very easy for uh, young people to gain access to these devices. Students who have violated the school's policy are sent to Carmel City Court Judge Brian Poindexter. He says the offense is a Class C infraction and up to a $500 ticket. In a month, how many young people do you think you see for uh, e-cigarettes? Uh, this would be an estimate. It could be 5 to 10. If you're a parent, listen up. The school district has a message for you. Constant communication is very beneficial. The other thing is just getting a better understanding themselves about what these products are. So if you see this, it's not just a USB. The jewel will sit on it to charge. It's something that could be a lot worse. The school district continues to hold parent awareness nights to discuss the issue of vaping. Those dates are listed on the school's website.